all animals. Here's how horses got their hooves. A new study can now finally explain how and why horses evolved from having toes to hooves. Equines, such as horses and zebras, are unique for being the only living animals with only one toe on each foot. But this wasn't always the case. The earliest horses were small and lived in forests, with four digits on their front legs and three on the back. The side toes were essential and helped carry their body weight. As their habitat transitioned from forest to grassland, horses' bodies grew larger and their side toes started to shrink. To compensate for the extra load, the middle toe bone became thicker and more robust. Transitioning to a single toe may have also made it easier for the animals to run farther and faster. The study examined fossilized bones of ancient horses and used computer simulation to determine how the bone structures bore the animal's weight. Keep watching for more interesting animal stories. Good news for giant pandas. Giant pandas are not an endangered species anymore, thanks to China's attempts to preserve their habitat and replant forests. According to conservationists, the Chinese government's efforts have been so successful that pandas are now breeding like, uh, rabbits? Around 2,000 pandas now live in the wild, an increase of 17% in the last decade. That means the species has been reclassified as vulnerable, which probably makes it okay to hunt them. But not so fast. Conservationists say climate change will likely destroy 35% of the panda's habitat, so the population gains could be wiped out. The WWF said the increase in numbers was hugely encouraging and cause for celebration. But it's not all good news for the world's most endangered species. Conservationists say both eastern and western gorillas, along with orangutans in Borneo and Sumatra, are no longer just endangered, they're now critically endangered. This means there are currently so few of them in the wild that they'll probably go completely extinct. That is, unless humans intervene with captive breeding programs to help boost their numbers. Researchers discover angry octopuses turn darker colors. Scientists from the University of Sydney have discovered how octopuses communicate with each other by changing colors, including identifying certain poses that indicate a complex system of social signals that the marine creatures use to interact. After studying 53 hours of octopus footage, researchers concluded that the cephalopods turn a darker shade and try to make themselves appear larger or taller when they're being aggressive, and turn a lighter shade or make high contrast patterns when they're trying not to start trouble or if they just lost a fight. Darker octopuses will stand their ground when facing off with a lighter colored octopus. As you can see here, the octopus has taken a Nosferatu pose named after the vampire film. There goes the loser of the fight in a pale flash. This is the first study of a system of communication among fighting and high-fiving octopuses. In this clip, notice how the darker octopus chases the lighter ones away in a show of aggressive behavior. Octopuses have cells called chromatophores below the surface of their skin that allow them to change color. Researchers in Norway teach horses to communicate with people. Researchers in Norway have made a breakthrough in the study of animal cognition, using symbols to help horses communicate their level of comfort to humans. In the study, 23 horses were exposed to a range of hot, cold, and warm temperatures and given three symbol boards to select from based on what they experienced. If a horse nudged the board with the horizontal line, it communicated to the researchers the horse felt cold and was asking for its blanket. If a horse nudged the board with a vertical line, it communicated that it felt hot and wanted the blanket removed. If a horse nudged a board with no symbol on it, it was communicating it felt comfortable. Horses were given a carrot for making the correct choices. It was clear whether the horses were choosing the symbols that corresponded with their comfort as they were either covered in thick blankets designed to make them uncomfortably hot or taken outside in freezing cold temperatures which would call for them to demand a blanket. The horses learned to provide their preferences after only 14 days of 10 to 15 minutes of training each day. This new research groups horses in with apes, dolphins and pigeons as animals proven to be able to communicate with humans through symbols.